here comes android 12 for the poco x3 users if you're a poco x3 user doesn't matter if you're using poco x3 global version or poco x3 india version where it does not have nfc but you can install this android 12 update right now on your device the thing is make sure you have unlocked bootloader make sure you have a custom recovery everything else or you can see the process is actually same this is android version 12 beta 1 which is actually looking quite good and impressive we have already installed it on poco x3 we're going to talk about this build on our device that how it is looking like can you install it as your daily driver i'm not going to share with you much things about this build but the thing is if you still want to install it you can give it a try i'm not going to share the installation also because installing some zip files and you're good to go First of all, talking about the lock screen, yes, it has new clock available for you in Android version 12. You have the new clock style available, the full size clock or you can say big size clock which is not available in Android 10 or Android 11. But in Android 12, we have this option available for you which is actually looking quite good and impressive and honestly, I like this thing a lot, this feature a lot and also including that you will see new kind of patterns in your lock screen or wherever you will use the pattern lock, it looks quite different quite unique looks quite good so you must definitely try out this thing on your device also and yes it comes with a pixel launcher it's a port from pixel 5 all thanks to its developer and the thing is it's from pixel 5 so all the pixel goodies are available for you all the apps will be installed from the google play store after this first setup so yes make sure proper internet connection full length full quality of internet connection and also it's a pixel launcher so don't expect much features in the default launcher default launcher doesn't come with any kind of features but if you talk about the wallpaper section here you can see some wallpapers some live wallpapers for you for example you can apply any wallpaper from here you simply need to download this live wallpaper it will be automatically downloaded on your device and after download you will be able to use a live wallpaper it doesn't hang your device it doesn't gives you lag so it seems to be a very good thing and if you talk about the quick settings panel has the almost same ui if you compare it with other android 12 based custom rooms or not actually android 12 based custom rooms but android 12 ports which are available for some other devices also for my redmi note 9 pro the port is available for redmi note 8 it's available and now it's available for poco x3 also maybe for some other devices it's available for you all the important tiles are available all the normal features are working perfectly fine for example the wi-fi bluetooth which i am using right now these both things are working perfectly fine including that the torch etc seems to be working it also comes with a very new animation if you can see whenever i open or close a tile you might see a very new kind of animation i try to use a night sight i try to use some other features almost every normal basic feature is working fine if you want to use it as a daily driver and you might consider all those bugs which are available you can definitely give it a try and this is not a bad choice dark theme etc seems to be working quite good so almost everything seems to be good and working till now which i got yes sandisk sd card which i'm using right now has got some issues this, this that was not actually read right if i'm not wrong that was some issue there but else everything is fine I haven't installed Magisk on my device, I haven't rooted my device yet. So by default, my device safety net status is not passed, which means I will not be able to use the banking apps. So to pass the safety net status, you might need to install Magisk, you might need to hide Magisk, and else extra steps of course are there. And if you don't know how to pass the safety net status and if it is still failing for you, make sure to comment below. I will try to provide you the solution because I made already a video on those kind of things. So make sure to keep this thing in mind everything else is same here your device will be shown as pixel 5 so talking about the google camera related things you can use gcam on your device i'm using gcam 8.2 you can use any other gcam version also it's just up to you i'm using the gcam dmgc gcam 8.2 this is one of the great gcams which i definitely use on my device i was using dmgc 7.3 first time whenever i use this build on my device this kind of gcam then i use gcam 8.2 and dmgc 8.2 is just released dmgc version 5.2 and i have a dedicated video on this one too so if you want this gcam link and alongside with that video link make sure to comment below i will try to provide you this one too but the link for this gcam is of course in the description alongside with the video review and make sure to subscribe my second channel also i have a dedicated video in the on this gcam on my next channel on my other channel 
moving on to some other things as i previously mentioned it will automatically install some apps from the google play store you so you need to keep this thing in your mind and everything else is just kind of same if you talk about the full screen gestures as you just saw here and the full screen gestures if you want to check out some features which you get here you get the screenshot and select both of the features are present there these were the features which were present in android 10 not sorry android version 11 these were the features present in android version 11 but mostly whenever you use the pixel launcher but doesn't matter if you use any other launcher on your device now moving on to another more thing for example the cpu throttling test the cpu throttling test uh, at the start point it was not showing up to the mark but when i got one full this kind of drop is there then you will see it will automatically touch 100 percent a lot of times whenever you use it for some time it will take some time to settle down on your device and then you will see very very improved performance it's actually quite fast blazing fast so one of the perfect things to give it to try on your device this is actually a thing cpu throttling test which sometimes used to measure cpu related settings on your device or you can say cpu capacity cpu power on your device and as you can see it's touching at 100 percent and it's far more better if you compare it with some custom rooms it's android 12 port basically and uh, yes this thing which you need to keep in mind is this one of these things include now moving on to the settings as you can see we have this settings ui available for you this settings ui contains all the new features from android version 12 as you can see new ripple effect is present there which is of course one of my favorite features out there but everything else is same network and internet connected devices apps notifications all the features which you get in android 11 also and the features which i've already shown you android 12 beta 1 the features are present here and alongside like redmi noted also is a pixel 5 port and the thing is it also has a pixel 5 port this is also pixel 5 port so the pixel 5 features are present for you battery backup i haven't tested it honestly so i'm not sure about the battery backup that how is the battery backup actually but yes it is not the big thing of course it's a beta update it's a beta ported room update so the thing which you need to keep in mind is it is not actually usable for a normal user if you're a normal user i will not recommend you to use this build on your device as your daily driver vibration and haptics also have some advanced settings in android 11 you don't have these options actually but in android 12 you have many interesting options for you the text size is changed here something new ui available everywhere dark theme etc seems to be working perfectly fine it also comes with this new setting let me show you first of all in colors we have the natural boosted saturated and adaptive these are some colors combinations which you get by default and you can use any other color if you want to alongside with that we have this smooth display setting available which if you enable it it will choose it will just show you the refresh rate to 30 30 fps 60 years and i will not use i will not recommend you to use this option so just turn this setting off don't use this option and as expected, the theming is present for you the styles on wallpapers app where you have many styles available for you security includes the fingerprint etc same kind of options available here and there almost everywhere same kind of options available for you everything else i've already shown you till now make sure you already saw this thing and then you install this build on a device let me show you one more setting which i wanted to let you know when you go to the developer options you need to enable this force 90 hertz refresh rate when you enable this then you will be able to use 120 hertz refresh rate on your device but everything else is over the edge feel like i'm floating through the edge 